Good morning, TikTok family. I just want to encourage you today to not to be fearful, even though we're in a pandemic. And I want to give you some scriptures that will help you out. Amen. Okay. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thy not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and I will, will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Salvation, I mean, Psalms 27 and 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That's my favorite one. I want to encourage you that God is not giving you the spirit of fear. Amen. And that's what Jesus was telling Peter. He was in, encouraging Peter. But he was letting Peter know ahead of time. Look, the time has come for me to be uh, betrayed. And you're going to be alone. And you're going to go through and Satan desire to sift you like wheat. Peter. Because you're the strong one of the bunch. Peter was the one who stepped out of the boat and walked on water by faith. Peter was the one who had the revelation that Jesus was the true, was the Messiah, the Son of God. Peter was, was the strong one, that he was willing to die for Jesus. And so Satan saw him as a threat, and he wanted him. So he told Peter, he said, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But see, he said, I pray that your faith fellas you not and he said when you repent go restore your brothers so he was letting them know the temptation is going to come and y'all going to be weak even though your spirit is strong your flesh is weak and he said but repent and when you do you being a big brother of the family go restore your brothers and he said i would die for you jesus he said i'm not gonna no i'm i'm gonna die for you i'll go where you go he said, Peter, you're going to deny me three times when you get under pressure. Amen. And when we're going through this pandemic, everything looks crazy. And sometimes you feel like God is not there, but he's there. He's Jesus on the right hand of the Father, praying for you and me that our faith fails us not during this time. He's letting you know he's with you, but be encouraged. Stay in his word and focus on Jesus. Don't focus on the circumstances. Just know that his word is true. If he said he'll be there, he's, he's there. If he said he'll never leave you nor forsake you, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's a man of his word. Amen. So be encouraged. Decree your, uh, your morning to be prosper and favorable in him and joyous. Hallelujah. Whatever you speak, it shall be. In Jesus' name, God bless.